Hey, what's up today? I've got a quick and simple mod for you. This is just uh, applying some um, Sega decals. Uh, the Sega logo is missing from the OutRun cabinet. I'm going to arcade one up. And we're just going to put those on. These came from... Sorry, my cat's moving my... <laughs> Move my tripod here and we're just going to apply these on here uh, real quick just to kind of add to the authenticity a little bit this is really really quick and easy so it goes just a little bit above the the car and the clouds here i'm just going to look at the try to get the right uh leveling here and then hold one side uh, I guess that's not gonna let me start peeling one side real quick let's try that because once I get it started I really hope my camera angle is not off here at least I have another side if if you guys can't see so I can re refilm this so what I'm gonna do is I've got this peeled about halfway back, but I'm not sticking sticking it on. And I'm just going to level it. Just like that. And that's perfect. Now stick it on. There we go. And then just peel the rest of this away. And now we've got our Sega logo there. Perfect. Awesome. And then uh, for the steering wheel, too, it's got this really uh, crappy, let me see if I can get in there, arcade one up, <laughs> outrun steering wheel. So we're going to replace that, too. And these are real quick and simple mods from Arcade Graphics. Uh, he did not sponsor this video. I actually purchased these just because they're this stuff kind of bothered me a little bit. But here's a reproduction of the original. I'll put the horsey face in. Up. And we'll just put that right over that crappy arcade one up one. And there we go. And then all I gotta do is put the, the Sega logo on the other side. But I'll do that off camera. Quick and easy. Awesome. Uh, these things only cost like a couple bucks, so almost no reason not to do them. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. You fat, lazy cat. <laughs>